Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Control. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been thinking about this pretty much non-stop since I la stopped recording the last episode. Last night about 1.30 in the morning, uh, you know, everyone else in the house was asleep, it was quiet, and I was like, man, maybe if I just sit real close to the mic and talk low, I could record another one, just because I'm like, I'm having a great time with this. So I'm excited to be back, let's stop delaying and let's start being back. Uh, we need to go places and blow stuff up, and man. Everywhere I look, it's just so creepy in here. Okay, uh... One thing that I would love to do is figure out if we can get to the furnace from here. I mean, we're headed this way, I guess? Oh, the, furn the furnace is this way. Uh, let's see if we can get out here. Listen, saving the world or whatever, dealing with the hiss, it's all important. What in the hell? Okay, there's just people... Whoa! Explosive people. Explosive people floating at me all upside down. Okay, feels like maybe, uh, you know, maybe this is a good application for the other form of the gun. Boy, I wonder if they're just... Maybe they're infinite. Maybe I need to get behind, you know, get to whatever's spawning them. Oh! Oh, God! Don't go that way! Don't go that way! Everything's fine. Nobody worry. Let's try to have a dash now. Okay, they're floating uh, more than flying. They couldn't just like fly up over the uh, over the railing there. That's probably important to remember for future evasion. Uh, ooh, a shatter projectile boost. I do love boosting my projectiles. Let's see, this is spread down. This is extra project. Oh, that's way better. Way better. Okay, let's go look at the file on the thing that we just ran into. His charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption. His charged display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance, so dense it acts as a physical force. The his charge is depleted of the his corruption after the eruption. Yeah, that's one way to describe what happens to him. Uh, this behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The his charged are designed to blow the devices off uh, potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. It's hard to imagine there would be much host left after that. Is the his capable of customizing a, uh, a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the his charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. I feel like that could be the title of the game. Alright, well, it seems like they don't want us to go this way, which has only redoubled my desire to go this way. Uh, we got another one of these situations. There's a door up there. I mean, you know, you know what we must do. Knock, knock. No? Really? Uh, let's try it again. Knock, knock! Aw. Alright, well, apparently we're gonna have to power this door. What is this thing that I'm throwing? Oh, this is like a generator. I should probably not be smashing this thing around. Alright, let's take that side door. This does not look like, uh... Not look like a way forward. Good news is... Nope, nothing. No good news. Uh, replace the parts. I mean... Okay. Put... We take this thingy, and we put it in this receptacle. As hard as we possibly can. Yeah, that prob <laughs> probably shouldn't have worked, but alright. Okay, those guys are definitely going to fight me. You know, I wish I had, like, grenades. This would be a real good situation for some grenades. Look at this dude, he's clever. He figured out how cover works. Ooh, Jesus, what in the... Alright, I think something blew up. I think what happened there was they blew something up on me. Just gotta be real careful for a moment. Okay, sprint for health, sprint for health. Everything's... Ooh, Jesus! Oh no, that's what happened. A, a charge came up behind me. That's what caused the explosion. Uh, their explosions are extremely red. I just got a little notification there from my OBS. I'll have to check the file. It shouldn't be... 
Hmm. Hold on a second. While this is loading up, I'm gonna just verify that everything is basically as it should be. So we could we could close a thing or two here. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't uh, break up too much. Okay, we're back. Everything's fine. But we're probably gonna have to fight that initial wave of charged again, though. I wonder if I can um, like body check people with the char with the uh, the dash. Obviously, I would not do that to these guys. Oh, nope, okay. In fact, it remembers that we did this, too. Oh, I can't pick up the broken one and hurl it around. Alright, this'll do. Oh! It's a solid dodge. Okay, so we gotta be on the look. Where are the where are the charged coming from? Yeah, I don't see them. Ooh. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Just a moment. Well, that's very inconvenient. That thing there. Okay, gun largely ineffective at this range. That works pretty well, though, as long as these things aren't spawning infinitely, and, I mean, we don't know for sure that they aren't. Bottlenecking them here is probably a pretty good idea. Well, I completely failed there. Close up, which is like 100% what I do not want to be doing here. Alright. Well, at least we won't have to do that again. I suppose from a from like an in-universe perspective, it makes sense for there to be a ton of control points down here, because you would really want to make sure that you have secured and stabilized the generator. Especially considering that it seems to be, uh, potentially more dangerous than a normal generator. Uh, so we have one ability point. I do not remember what we were doing. Kill demolition guys, punch dudes to death. Okay, easy enough. Oh, we do have a new weapon form available. Generous magazine, high rate of fire. It's an awful lot of source and also everything else. But yeah, that might be the next thing we do, maybe. Like, maybe it's not worth building uh, the upgrades to our mod production abilities until we have all the forms of the weapon, since we know that... Um, since we know that mods can be specific to forms. Like, I would hate to just... I would hate to spend a bunch of resources generating mods and then find out we can't use any of them yet. So we have to throw garbage into the furnace. He was not specific as to what garbage, so I'm just going to start chucking boxes in there, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a thing over here. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher. <laughs> yeah. Code Omega Paranatural Entity residing within the Bureau itself. Code Omega sounds bad. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked, and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Oh, volunteers. I was... Okay. We're going to try inanimate first. Here's some trash. Let's Let's feed it this. Uh, 
Uh, well, we didn't get any progress on the progress bar for doing that. How about... Can I pick up this stuff? Hmm. Wait. I mean, it doesn't... It does not seem to be speaking, right? What about a forklift? You want a forklift? Oh, apparently I can't, I can't pick up a whole forklift. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. Oh, this is real glowy. By trash, did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Does seem like a thing we ought to get rid of. Looks like they're breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. She is just as devoted as I am to Ati. Gotta make sure it doesn't hit the railing there. Well, this seems... In one sense, it's a good way to, I suppose, dispose of big barrels full of potentially very hazardous waste. In another, another sense, we might just be filling the room or potentially the whole building with whatever vapors this stuff emits, which <laughs> could be real bad for us. Ooh, thing. You, you can get me to jump off of just about anything. You tell me there's a collectible at the bottom of it. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery, and that I don't. if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Ah, uh, just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. You know, that's actually a super good question. I didn't really think about that. But mail tubes are, first of all, like, in a broad sense, not a great way to do the job that mail tubes do. Uh, but secondly, especially not in a building that is constantly changing. Why do I have a glow here? I don't know, whatever. Alright, there's a barrel... It's a shame there's no way to set something down gently, because I would love to, like, levitate this up to the ledge, and then... I, ca I can't sprint while I'm carrying it. So I would love to le levitate this up to a ledge, and then sprint up to it and finish moving it to the furnace. Uh, oh, there's glow. You know, my favorite part about, uh, about Jessie Faden is her very strong ankles. She, <laughs> she is doing a great job of just holding up under all of the ridiculous nonsense I'm putting her through. Okay, looks like maybe two more, I'm guessing, from the length of the bar. That, yes, that is one of them. Actually, there's no way these just break when I throw them, right? I bet I could, like, grab ones that are down on the bottom and hurl them up. Let's see if we can hit this from here. Yeah, check that out. The precision. It's a shame those Hiss dudes aren't here to see this. They'd never mess with me again. I wonder what's in all these uh, fragile boxes. And why, <laughs> why this stuff is all down here. Yeah, no, we just take all of the important electronic equipment and stuff and we store it next to the furnace. Why wouldn't we? Well, we certainly can't use any of it. Hmm. Where is the one I'm missing? Also, what form is my gun in right now? Okay. I'm really, I'm pretty torn as to which one I should, uh, which form I should have it in while we're just running around. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's that? What's up there? Ooh. Stuff is what's up there. And by stuff, of course, I mean a threshold remnant. Also, like, health boost... How much health are we talking about here? 18%? It's just, like, various qualities of the same stuff we already have. I kind of like the energy recovery speed, because throwing things at people with my mind powers is extremely satisfying. No, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, we landed right on that railing, and she just kept on ticking, huh? Hold on, did we look up here? I know I'm easily distracted. Think about it. What if we missed a single garbage mod that we didn't want to equip? Well, I don't know if I could stand the embarrassment. 
All right. Uh, somewhere in this room, there is one additional barrel, and it's possible that it has been on screen already. But I know that you all have you all have been raised too well to be shouting at your screens right now, furiously typing comments down in the box about how, oh my god, is he blind? How does he not... You know. You know how the internet is sometimes. I kind of wanted to see where that went. Hmm. It's probably not actually a place we can get to. Let's see. It would drop you, like, right on the other side of this wall. Maybe we can access it from uh, the place we move forward to after the control point. Let's let's just get this done first. So let's see. We've been downstairs, and I think we're fairly thorough down there. I don't see any green glowy. It's the technical term for lighting effects. But the graphics artists are always like, hey, did you put the glowy in? Okay, well, there it is. Uh... Well... This isn't what I wanted. I mean, that is it, right? Maybe maybe I can grab it from up here. Maybe the problem is that I can't quite see it. Cause she does uh, she does highlight stuff from pretty far away sometimes. Yeah, there we go. Easy. That's all, all right, don't breathe in. Just uh, <laughs> let's just get out of here. I mean, I really want to get over there. The door's locked, and there's no... I'm not going to be able to dash through that fence. I guess there's no point. Not what I meant to do. Um, I don't know why. This is not just a problem in this game. But for some reason, my brain... Uh, when I when I need to hit tab, I hit control. When I need to hit control, I hit tab. It's a universal problem <laughs> across every game I'm currently playing. Happens all the time in, uh, in Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. Ah, I almost made it. Okay, I don't think there's anywhere to go up there anyway. I think we have wrung all of the collectibles out of this room. We do have some more ability points. Let's just go check this out. I don't really know what we're planning on buying next. We should probably have some idea. Is it the throw bodies thing? It's probably the throw bodies thing. That's very funny. Yeah. And then is this just launch large enemies when their health is low? I was hoping this would be the ability to launch enemies when their health is higher. Uh, we could unlock some extra damage stuff. You know, maybe 10% extra energy is actually useful. Like, as much as I love picking things up and throwing them. I also love punching guys. Let's go ahead and buy this. And I'm assuming this is just going to be... It's going to unlock more... Yeah, more energy. Okay. Okay, forward to the coolant pumps. Do we need to go over here? I don't know. Spent so much time in video games wondering about whether or not we can. We rarely stop to think about whether or not we should. Can I get up here? Nope, nope, don't fall. Don't fall. If they're letting me walk on the pipes, I feel like there's a reason. Nope, okay. There could be stuff up there. Could be boxes full of garbage. Yeah, so I'm going to be honest with you. I don't 100% remember what it was that we had to do to fix the generator. This is probably the right way. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, solid shooting there, Tex. Hey, give me a rock or something. I'll solve this problem the old-fashioned way. Oh, right, I'm supposed to be punching, guys. You should, you should stop me when I just sprint at you like that. You should do something about it. a little bit of gunfire to stagger him. I don't know if that was actually necessary, but it was fun to do it that way. Wow, I just... I just hard missed him. I kind of thought, you know, it has a pretty wide area of effect, uh, but you can just go completely past them. It does not hit behind your hand. Well, that's embarrassing. Watch out for the grenade warning indicator, and then grab those grenades and just have a great time with them. Okay, let's try that again. Fix the NSC coolant pumps. Fix the NSC energy converters. Obviously. Obviously these are the two things that we need to do. All this place is 
place is gonna come down. Let's go ahead and preemptively grab myself a big rock. Thankfully, I have the gift of foresight. I will say, as much as I love the graphical effect of the, the melee attack, it does make it kind of hard to see sometimes. Alright, cool. <laughs> now we don't have to worry about that anymore, and I can get back to solely hurling stuff at people. Uh, this guys look like they might be wearing security armor. Ooh. You know what? Maybe not. I think that was a workman. Oops. Just a guy trying to do his job. All of a sudden, there's all this hissing, and... You know, I bet turnover at the Bureau is relatively high. If the plant goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the gold. Oh no, not that. Anything but that. You know how I feel about the spoon. Oh, I guess there's one right here. This also would have worked. Okay. Coolant pump, uh, coolant. What am I doing? Why would you shoot a gun when you can do this? I was hoping that explosive was going to get him, but uh, unfortunately he was behind cover, like a smart guy. I probably hesitated too long on that. If we want to do that grenade throwback thing, I think we probably have to grab the grenades like pretty much right away. I hate for one of them to explode while I'm using my mind powers to hold it directly next to my head. Alright, where else are there pumps that need to be restarted? Because there are an awful lot of those power blocks. Presumably, so that you can afford to uh, use some of them in combat. It's a good thing I don't need to check if they're, like, in working order. Because I am definitely not qualified to service a power core. I failed to grab the grenade. Nope. Yeah, the gun is for suckers. Shoot, ow. The gun is for times when my energy bar is slowly refilling, I guess. Where was that? Where'd that shot even come from? Alright, let's, let's maybe get out into the center of the room. I need to be more shootable so that I can identify where the enemies are. Ah! I wonder. Hold on, we're gonna try something. Stop, stop running around, you coward! Yeah, he moved away from the objects. What I'm wondering is if we can pull something that's behind a guy to hit him in the back, and then throw it at a different guy. Because that seems like that seems like the coolest way to do that thing. Just make sure we're not missing any important stuff down here. It looks like there's one more coolant pump. Although I don't know for sure that it's in this room. It could be further forward. I mean, I guess we could just follow the big blue pipes. That's running to that one that we turned on. So... Source of the, this pipe here is not accounted for. Up there, maybe? I feel like we were up there already. No, I guess there's just an awful lot of these pipes. Well, just in case, let's go back up there and make double sure. Oh, that could totally be a coolant pump. Maybe I did just run right up to it. In my defense, I was a little distracted on account of all the people trying to murder me. That gross blockage down in the sewer systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him, too. I guess that's just his brand of crazy. 
I'm gonna try out a new drain, a drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Oh, I should... Hold on, we should mouse over that, uh, that audio thing that we listened to. So that the little red triangle will go away. There we go. And this door maybe opens from the other side, or maybe only opens once we get all of the coolant pumps. I'm kind of curious if there's a way up onto that walkway. Oh, hey. I'm guessing that's the mold, right? It kind of looks like... It has uh, outcroppings that sort of look like coral, but we're seeing it everywhere down here. And it has been, uh, it has been talked about just enough for me to feel like it's real ominous, I guess. Maybe this is how we get up there? And I don't seem to be able to activate this. Are the controls down on the ground? I've never used a scissor lift in real life. I have no idea how they work. Looks like maybe we can't uh, mess with that. Also, I would be terrified to use a scissor lift. That seems that seems really unstable. My I'm sure they're fine. The clock is blocking the pipes. Yo. He's very okay. He's trying to stop me. He caught me with his hand in the fist. Get the thing off of him. Okay, so big, big gouts of what I'm assuming is not actually feces, but it sure looks like it could be. We'll just, uh, we'll just take a, take cover here for a moment. It is very gross. There's no two ways about that. So I'm wondering if we missed a coolant pump in the last room or if it's just further ahead. It could totally just be further ahead, right? Okay, not one of the kinds of fences you can dash through. Ugh. So it's probably not feces. It's probably just, like, spores. Or just a liquidy flood of spores. That doesn't make it less gross. If anything, that's worse. Yep, great. Solid shooting. You know what? What am I doing? Why am I trying to aim? I have a gun that makes aiming irrelevant. This is very bad. This is this is real. Real, I don't care for it territory right here. Let's see. So this way will be that box that we saw through the grate. Which I'm sure will have nothing that we care about inside of it. Uh, energy renewal. That's interesting. Is that get energy back on hits? Ooh, big energy boost from headshots. Can I put that on either gun? I, the shatter is gonna hit people in the head fairly frequently. You know, you just like project a cloud of, of bullets at them. Some of them are gonna hit the head. Actually, I wonder if I could be doing this with objects. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, the good news is it doesn't seem too hard to break down. It's just, uh, I'm sure it's going to be back, right? If this functioned as a permanent solution, the problem would have been permanently solved long ago. Kind of seems like there's not actually any reason to even be in this little detour. Okay, stuff's still exploding, right? I do have a job to do. <laughs> the game gently reminding me, you're here for a reason. I'm just trying to make sure that we didn't miss any opportunities to dash through a fan or something, but it looks like there's fencing in place on all of these. Is the whole point of this area just getting that one collectible? It looks like maybe? Uh, yes, in fact. There is nothing else to do here except to be really grossed out. Okay. I mean, we, we have now been tutorialized for how to deal with that particular thing. 
Hey, look at that. I hit the right button. Oh, here's the other coolant pump thing. You just have to be facing this way. Boy, I really... I'm really on board with most things Jesse says. All that stuff about how, like, uh, night shift custodial work sometimes makes other people regard you as a little bit weird. I've, like, you know, been there. Uh, but this manual labor stuff, I don't know. Satisfying is not the word I would use. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so it's... It's just one guy down there, I think. Let's prepare ourselves. Well, this is a lot further down than I intended to fall. Jesse, Jesse. Okay. Shoot, I grabbed a part of the floor. I was trying to grab that. Because that looks explosive. Oh, this might actually, this might be a good opportunity to test that thing. So let's let him walk, like, in front of this and grab it. Oh, it totally does work! That said, uh, he's very well armored, even once his armor bar is depleted. There's still some health scattered around up here. Is his armor going to regenerate? Like, is it a, like a halo shield, or... Just wait till he gets tired. Where is he, even? Thought he was right down there below us. Maybe I should be carrying something that has a little bit more destructive potential. Okay, it looks like the shield is regenerating, but not quickly. Headshots, uh, ineffective. Nothing really seems terribly effective. This is, this is working, but slowly. Ooh, this. This looks like it might do something. It sure as hell did. Very slowly whittling him down. I need one of those. No? Okay. I'm trying to grab the explosive out of the forklift here, but... Whatever, that works. We got through it. I'm a little concerned uh, by the fact that we got a log for him that makes it sound like this is going to be a common enemy. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWEs, thresholds, or other paranaturally hazardous situations. They are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armor, the hiss resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage, be sure to make use of available color, uh, cover. Also note that, to the telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Yeah, if he had been shooting a grenade launcher at us, we probably would have made pretty quick work of him. So, hold on, does the red... I can't tell if the red on the illustrations is meant to demonstrate weak points. So I'm just saying, he's got this, like, this bit around his neck plate that maybe we're supposed to be trying to shoot off. Maybe that'll weaken the armor somehow. We can try it next time we see one. Alright, good work everybody. That's one part of this thing fixed. You would think I, I tried to run into the elevator and just like force push the button. You would think I would be able to do that. Given my truly impressive telekinetic abilities. Oh, there is a there is loot up there. I wonder if the elevator will let us go back down. Because I would like to at least try. And it was just a normal box. Probably if we go to all the effort of getting it, it won't uh, it won't even really matter. But it's worth trying. There's some kind of gunfight going on upstairs. I'm sure they'll uh 
sure they'll keep it under control until we return. So it seems like maybe from that ledge up there we could dash across? Let's see if we can figure out a way to do that. Again, based on the things we've seen so far, it, it seems like we might eventually get some kind of vertical traversal skill, so maybe it's possible that we're just not supposed to be able to get up there yet. We came in down here, right? We could try to get... Hmm, maybe you want to enter this room from the NSC power plant to have access to the top level? Yeah, you know what? I bet we can't do this from down here. I'm just looking. There, there's really not anywhere that would get us high enough to climb the pipes. Okay, we'll, we'll try entering from a higher door. Plus, this lets us take the uh, extremely relaxing elevator ride a second time. This time while facing the correct direction. I can't help but notice that she has put away the gun. Given the sounds that we're hearing, that seems uh, perhaps unwise. There we go. Alright, she's on top of it. I'm just gonna grab this garbage can. You know, just in case. I didn't actually kill that guy. And now he is definitely aware of us. Okay, those dudes up there are... Oh, hold on. We... We need to go save those dudes up there. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of these dudes here. Something? Anything? There we go. Damn it. Multiple named enemies at the same time. This is bad. Headshots recover energy. Oh, interesting. Did you see that? It seemed like that guy ran into the thing we were carrying, and it uh, dealt damage to it. So maybe we can just carry the objects into nearby enemies. I think I just discovered that one of my uh, mouse thumb buttons does the dash. Ow. Okay, I'm doing my best to kill these things fast enough to keep everybody up there alive. I think we're cool. And it looks like I picked up everything that isn't just health. Yeah, the combat is fun. It's it's not super complicated, but it's fun to grab objects in the environment and try to pull them back into the enemies and then throw them forward into other enemies. This control point is already ours. How you doing, man? You are... I mean, listen, you survived. What else can you ask from me, really? Uh, collect reward, collect reward... Okay, nothing great. Common material... Kill a Hiss Trooper for an uncommon personal mod. Okay, I am willing to just have garbage missions sitting in our inventory. Uh, if it will... Kill Hiss Charged using melee. No, thank you. Uh, kill people using launch. Absolutely. Because the common mods, honestly... Like, the idea that we might miss out on common mods because we're not... Um, ooh... Interesting. The idea that we might miss out on common mods because we're not cycling missions as fast as possible does not upset me at all. I don't think I care about that. Okay, so we're very close on this. We actually have all this stuff. We just need to get a little bit more source. Which means, once again, I'm not spending anything until we get a new weapon for it. Alright, so... Which way to... The converters? This way, it looks like. 
Yep, that is where there are still active enemies. So that makes sense. Oh, wow. That was even more effective than I was expecting it to be. Wow, that's a much larger object than we usually get to pick up. Wow, those things are uh, difficult to actually evade. I mean, really, what I should have done is just pull it out of the air, right? But. Oh, that didn't work. I tried there. Come on. There we go. Got there eventually. Hold on. Let's try to catch it. Let's try to catch another one. I need to get him to fire at me again first. Wait, where is that guy? Here he is. Here he is. Right, come on. Is this the right guy? Boy. Aha! Wow, remarkably ineffective. I mean, I did kind of miss. They just have a very small explosive radius. Okay. Uh, we definitely have the currency necessary to build that new weapon form, so let's go ahead and do it. ourselves a spin. So, hold on. How does this work? I, I only have two slots, right? Can I just change these at any time? Yeah, I guess it looks like it. Uh, so let's replace the grip with the spin. Is this... It does not look terribly accurate at long range. So maybe we don't want to have the spin and the shatter equipped at the same time. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job of using the shatter. I think I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna drop that one for the moment. I know, I know. He's un intentionally unequipping the shotgun in a video game. Has he lost his mind? Just get that mod unequipped from that so that I can put it on here. Maybe, hmm. Go headshot damage on this and headshot energy regen on that. Because if we're using the grip, we're probably closer to the enemies. Or, yeah, if we're using the spin, we're probably closer to the enemies and in a more desperate situation where energy would be more useful. We got ourselves a hidden trend. I sure do have a lot of conceptual materials. Nope. You know what? I'm sure we could dash across there. This feels unnecessarily dangerous. We have absolutely no good reason to do that. Okay, somewhere over here. I don't know, probably there. Probably through the door that says NSC Energy Converters above it in big letters. Uh, those guys are definitely real enemies. Damn it, it got stuck in the... Actually, this is a perfect environment to try this thing. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. My impression of the spin so far is that it is garbage. It seems to mostly miss and not really do very much damage when it hits. We'll uh, we'll continue to try it out for a little while here, but we might be might be just switching back to grip and shatter. So that's probably forward. Let's see what's this way. Ah, it's another one of these rooms. 
I mean, there's not garbage all over the floor here. We can get a little closer. I do, I do not like being close to this stuff, though. And what? Maybe we'll be able to eventually get the ability to interact with these in some meaningful way. It doesn't look like there's anything useful to do in here. I mean, that's fun. It definitely has a satisfying crunch, but it does not seem to accomplish anything. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick man's inside the plant is Okay, that wasn't too bad. I don't know that that's actually... Like that, at that range, killing an enemy that quickly, is totally something the grip could have done already. New mission. What did we just pick up here? The safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects or materials from its immediate vicinity. Your rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a para-utilitarian bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's du uh, durability. Lots of stuff was tested with some kind of results. The safe object of power is clearly a viable candidate for use in combat response scenarios. Okay, that's the result I was looking for. Allowing para-utilitarians para to participate in altered engagements would be an advantage worth considering. So somewhere around here... There is an entrance to that training course. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I mean, it's effective at a pretty decent range, actually. Of course, so is any piece of garbage we can pick up. So you really do want to um, sight in with it. it. The bullets just kind of go everywhere if you're not aiming down sights. But honestly, it's not bad. I'm coming around already. Oh, grenade guy. Yeah, see that? When when fired while not sighted in, it almost seems like it's trying to draw a like a cartoon outline of his body on the back wall. But as soon as you zoom in with it, it starts actually working. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm wondering if maybe we want to just completely replace the grip with this then. It seems to be, like, roughly as effective at long range and way better at shorter ranges. There was totally one more guy up top, wasn't there? I don't know where... Ah, oh, there he is. Saw him for a second. Yeah, okay. Let's then swap out the grip. Get that shatter back in here. And we'll just go projectiles up. These are both fine, fine weapons. Uh, power brick. <laughs> Very carefully slam the power brick into the valuable piece of machinery at incredibly high speeds. Is there a reason to be over here? Why does this little side area exist? I guess th this is a way to get around the side of the big central thing without having to actually walk through it the way we did. <laughs> that was cool. Also cool. Uh, yeah. Why are these dudes dressed like they're working on the bridge of the Death Star? Who designed these uniforms? Assuming uh, there's okay. Was that worth the risk? Probably not. A mod that lets us um, 
mod our weapon to do more damage against armor does have some value, but like, the problem with utilizing something like that is it requires you to take a situation where you could hurl objects at a guy. Oops, that's very much the wrong button. And instead not hurl objects at him, and I just can't, like, why? Why would you do that? Alright, well, we missed something. Maybe we missed it. Maybe we missed the very first one. Like, is there? there's probably one on that lower level that I didn't plug in. Not sure we didn't miss anything over here. Okay. Yep, sure enough. Boy, they really don't make you go searching for them, though. Let's go lift the lockdown. Presumably, now we won't blow up. Okay, shotgun mode. Seems like a good idea. Maybe the hiss... Well, you know what? I was about to say maybe the hiss can't get the people who made it into these, but there's no way that's right, because we have seen a person floating in one of them. So they're probably not all safe. I'm gonna try to stay on guard. That takes us to the NSC control room. It doesn't feel like we've seen an entrance to a training course area. But I mean, it's gotta be around here, right? No, actually our objective marker is quite far away. Well then, control room it is. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Alright, well, I mean, I, assume we, I have to assume we're talking about poker here. I like the, the little character building bits. So electricity and water levels both very green. And if there's one thing that I learned from the fifth element... And there really is just the one thing. It's that everything should always be green. Super green, if possible. Well, that's pretty cool. You are projectile against that guy, and then that guy is projectile against this guy. Wow, solid shooting there. At first, I was slightly annoyed that the uh, throwing stuff at people tends to leave them with just a tiny little bit of health left, but now I understand why. Okay, we've driven all of the terrifying psychic monster energy out of the control room, which seems like, probably... Pretty big and important. Forces contain the lockdown. Could only be lifted by a directorial override. If we just received an an actual hotline call about the directorial override, I think it uh, behooves us to maybe listen to that before. Sorry, hotline. Okay, no. This is what we're so, here to do. Oh no, there it is. I just I just had to wait a second longer. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege, to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. 
Yeah, I'm not super convinced. Major containment breach. And the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. So the thing about that is, I don't really feel like I am certain that it's safe to open the things. We have been told, basically just by Ati, to go in and lift the override. But, like, maybe that's not a good idea? I've been I've been kind of figuring that Ati is uh, basically, like, an agent of the, the house or of the bureau. But what if he's an agent of something else? I mean, I guess I'm probably not going to be able to advance the game plot without doing this, but I definitely have reservations, is my point. Let's all just hope that we didn't really need the thing to be in lockdown. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. Oh, hey, that'll be an enlightening conversation. You two should get to know each other. <laughs> the glowy circle seems to be into it, maybe? Okay, so... Right, we're back in this hallway. So in order to get up to that... That, uh... Training course thing... Maybe we need to get to the access corridor? Oh yeah, also, we totally could have just opened this door, right? <laughs> we, we had clearance level 2. I'm kind of curious if Ati has anything to say to us now, now that we've you know, done the job for him and everything. Let's go say hi to him real quick. We still don't know what that's about. And this is probably not the last time we'll be down here, right? He's too... He has too much help for me to pick him up still. Okay, apparently not quite done. You know what? I'll come back. We'll deal with them in a second. Nope. No interaction. Okay. You know, I thought it was worth checking. Wait a minute. What is that? Did we go through here? I don't think so. There we go, it was worth coming back here after all. Oh, that's it, huh? Not even a single thing to read, or... Eh, alright. I will say that, like, I, I'm really into... Like, sort of Metroidvania-style games where there, there's a lot of, like, secret doors to open and stuff. But the fact that a lot of the clearance level doors and, and like, a lot of the things you have to do a little bit of exploration to find are completely valueless is dampening my excitement. Just like a tiny little bit. I'm just gonna leave those guys down there with Ati. He can, you know, he can defend himself, I'm sure. So if we're going to investigate this training course... And then also, I do kind of want to, um... I want to get into the top of the NSC coolant pump room. Let's see if we can figure out a way to do that. So we would want to... 
trying to figure out what like what is the area just to the left of us that is being shown on the map here. I think I'm not correctly understanding the uh, the color coding of. I thought maybe the the color coding was meant to display different elevations, but maybe not. Well, there's not actually another way out of this room. It doesn't look like. There's a bridge shown, like somewhere in that direction, roughly, but like all the way across the power plant area. It leads up into a big dark space, and I'm curious about that. Hmm. I don't know. According to the map, there's like a hallway that's right over here. We gotta get back into that central circular area, I guess. Maybe the game is more linear than I'm making it out to be, and the right way to do this is just to follow the directest path back to uh, Emily. But I'm going to go back into that big circular room, and we're going to just make sure that we're not missing anything. So the way to do that is through Otten's room, right? Look at that, I remembered that I have powers. Okay, nothing on the mission board. Probably it is not safe to just fall down the elevator shaft. I mean, I'm impatient, but I'd like to think I have a little bit more self-preservation instinct than that. So from this room, the hallway that leads, that seems to lead toward the training co course objective is like all the way on the other side. Should probably not have the map up all the time because I am absolutely just going to run off one of these, uh, run into one of these little pits. So it's this way. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. I thought I was going to be able to hit that guy in the back of the head with that thing. I really don't have a good sense of the range of the melee attack. Sometimes it seems to hit stuff that's pretty far away, but not reliably. This is one of these explosive guys, right? Okay. I think we're good. This is central maintenance. Did we... We did not go through here before. Thresholds. We've seen this word used a lot. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a resonant frequency different from our own. I'm just going to guess what words might be redacted. When these frequencies match, uh, the threshold will manifest in the old house. Uh, others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality, but at a different point in time. So, like, the place where we found the, um, the carousel horse, right? Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the threshold. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes unhappiness in those who learn of it, so it is actively denied. Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't read that, honestly. 
What is going on here? Why is it just like a little bit of... I assume if I touch it, it will be bad. Nope. Nope, it's totally okay. That's weird. We've seen like big walls made of this stuff. Not so much with the... Uh... Oh, I wonder if we can dismiss it with powers. Yes, indeed. Alright. So wait, does that mean I could just punch it? Alright, and then breaking down... Yeah, breaking down all the other sources of his resonance nearby breaks down the other, uh, the big barrier. Look at that. Aren't you glad we read all that stuff? And that I remembered some percentage of it? Some small percentage? I'd like to file a formal complaint regarding the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality that I did not agree on. The fact that they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have disallowed the use of those recordings. I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation among my peers. Oh, I hope we're going to get to hear these messages. I will go to HR with this if necessary. Who is this person? Do we know this person? Hmm. Well, that's uh, Nixon in the middle of that. Uh, is that a... no, that is not a readable file. That's just one of, it's one of those files that you look at it and you just immediately know it's not interesting, definitely not worth turning on, or uh, opening up. So I, I just read this? Oh, here we Welcome go. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in the specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? I always did love obstacle courses. Really? Why? Wait, safety first? Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. Always keep the gun unloaded until ready to Get use. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Nope, that's wrong. Okay. Yeah, it does say start on the floor in this direction. Okay. Shoot targets, go through doors. Got it. 45 seconds remaining. What I like a lot about this gun is the small amount that I have to aim at. How is a person who... I mean, I guess other people could have had the disc, right? It's not like I am unique in that way. I do not feel like I'm doing a super good job here, to be honest. 15 seconds remaining. See how generous they're being with the timer. Five seconds remaining. Ah! Course failed. Try again, ah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Very nearly got myself crushed. Okay. Get this time we're going to go in the in correct five, door immediately. Four. Three, two. That's gonna one. help. That's really gonna shave some seconds off my time. She does not uh, maintain sprint. Like, if you hold down the sprint button and you tap into aiming mode and then back out of it, she loses her sprint. Which is annoying because you have to press the button again. Yes. There we go. 30 seconds remaining. Oh, we're certainly doing better this time. He, sa he says and then misses 300 shots in a row. 15 seconds remaining. There you go. Guessing this isn't usually part of the course. Is that going to be safe to approach? Is it hurling rocks at me pretty seriously? We need to hit it harder to break that shield. Hit it harder. I mean, I really have like I have one strength of hitting, unfortunately. 
Sure, the archetype of a safe. Which apparently we can just sort of reach right through. Makes it fairly ineffective as a safe. Okay, do you want to tell me how? How does one do the thing? Because these guys are going to start shooting any second now, and I am concerned. Q, okay. I cannot sprint while the shield is up. Uh, it is worth noting I am not... I am not holding Q. I just tapped it once and it brought the thing up. Can I then... I mean, I guess this is a bad place to test it. But I wonder if I can then hurl the shield at them. Hold on a second, let me regen my energy real quick here. It seems like it's floating in all directions, so I probably don't need to face the enemies. Yeah, that's... Alright, this is useful-ish. It is, chunks of it are getting worn off by enemy fire, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to get to cover, drop it, re-up it. Okay. I don't know, it, do, it, do, it certainly doesn't seem as useful as the other powers that we have so far, although I'm not remembering to use the sprint very often, or the, uh, the dash. I don't know, maybe the, it, it's possible, now that we are being given this power, that the combat is just going to get way harder, and this will become necessary. Alright, so get to a safe place where you are no longer being shot, put it down, be up. Okay, and if you try to jump or anything, you lose. Yeah, I don't know, this one's fine. It looks really cool, but it's, it's like not as exciting from a gameplay perspective. Take, uh, take a breather. Yeah, I do wish you could uh, move around a little bit better without having to drop it. Yeah, the fact that you have to like you have to move around slowly and stiffly while it's engaged really makes me not want to use it because it's so much fun to run around. Shield. Oh. Okay, and then can we throw it at people? I cannot just throw it at people. Remarkably. Huh. Yeah, that's wild. I, w I, I can't believe that you can't dismiss it with a throw. Right, of course there's a shield guy right there. Well, whatever. That was enough time to regen my ammo. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I don't much care for it, if I'm being honest. It's alright. Not all psychic powers can be equally exciting. Uh, so is there anywhere else that we can go from here? This takes us into the Black Rock Processing Area. This is a place that we have not been. Okay, high clearance level required. The Tennyson Report. Listen, Trench is on the warpath about this Tennyson Report thing. He wants to know who wrote it and he wants to know yesterday. Whoever did is going to get crucified. Well, then I suspect they're not going to come forward. I don't know if it was one of you guys, and I don't want to know. I'm not super keen on leading a witch hunt, so just tell everyone in the sector to keep their heads down. That's not to be on anyone's radar right now, you know? I tell you, not even counting all the weird shit we deal with, this place can be a downright hostile work environment sometimes. 
Yeah, I don't think... It doesn't sound to me like uh, Zachariah Trench is a great dude to work for. He might have been effective in his role, but uh, not exactly the same thing. The Atlas Chamber, huh? You know what? Hold on a second. Hold on just a moment. Before we go over there, let's make sure we didn't miss anything cool, anything that got left behind. These metal detectors are very ineffective. This seems like a pretty serious situation we're about to enter. I do not think we are intended to be here yet. Huh. Well... I cannot dash that distance. Like, you, you... Even though you can dash multiple times in the air, you fall a little bit between them, and there's just... There's absolutely no way. This is definitely a thing that we need to come back to later. I'm sure we will be told when it is time to enter Black Rock Processing. See where the name comes from, though. Honestly, the construction of this area reminds me a little bit of the areas that are infected with the hiss. Sort of makes you wonder if the two things are connected. I cannot see shit right now. In case you were wondering, hey, why is he doing such a bad job killing those guys? It's because I cannot tell what is happening some of the time. There was definitely one guy still up down there. Where is he shooting at me from? Like, he thinks he can see me. I definitely cannot see him. Ah. Down there somewhere. Yeah, this, this room is just not an ideal place to engage in a firefight. Visibility is compromised. We come over here. I'm just gonna ignore that guy. He's not he's not a danger to anyone. I was willing to ignore you. You brought it to this. Really really it's your fault I shot you in the face. I will accept no responsibility. So power plant. That takes us to the sector elevator. Oops. So what I would really like is to find a way into the upstairs area around the coolant pumps. Let's do that and then we'll fall back to a control point and call it a day. Wait. Where do these side doors go? Oh, yeah. Bathrooms, of course. Wow, this one's nice. Are there no... Huh. There are no mirrors in this one. That's weird, right? I was trying to just, like, push it open without having to actually walk over to each of them. You can never tell. You can never tell when some sneaky game designer is going to put a, I don't know, probably a file with a dirty joke in it. But if that, like, if that exists, I want that. This bathroom is considerably less nice. And still, does not contain any mirrors. So this is a unisex bathroom. Or, or an omnisex... Yeah, this is the bathroom for everybody, and then this is an additional bathroom just for Zachariah Trench. Right, we picked up some mods there that were actually of higher quality. Ooh, one more projectile than our current projectile uh, modifier. Yeah, sure. Okay, where do we have to go to get to... It'll be right across the room. I'm not sure that we're actually going to be able to access it yet. It's possible that whatever up, whatever is up there is not for us at this time. But let's go find out, right? Wait, 
is this how we came in originally? It might be. Also, did we ever open this? I think I did not see this, uh... This particular shelter. No, I totally did not. I mean, okay. Currency. Currency is a good reason to keep exploring. Yeah, this is... This is gonna take us down... Further down than we would like to go. Because this is how we entered the coolant pump area in the first place, right? Yeah, we came in through the janitor's office and... Hmm. Maybe we just can't access that area yet. Uh, maybe we'll come back once we get whatever our vertical traversal tool is. Or maybe we will never get one and I'm just, like, missing a really obvious way to, uh, to get to where we're going. Uh, for right now, though, I guess we can come back in here and have a chat with our buddy. Hey, man, how you feeling now that things are a little more resolved? Brew feels a lot safer when you're around. I am very good at murder. Okay, apparently we have no additional options. I should be going. Right. You got a lock down the lift. And you just keep standing here in this room in absolutely no danger, accomplishing nothing, because I'm sure that's what I'm paying you for. All right, well. Hey, we got some stuff done, right? We, uh, we got some new weapon forms. I got killed a bunch in embarrassing ways. And that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time, again, <laughs> maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, uh, to see what exactly uh, Jesse's deal is. I'm excited to finally find out. And we'll see you then.